Welcome! In today's episode of Vintage Sky I'm going to show you the glider which is the best proof that what is simple doesn't need to be primitive. Today's glider is the WWS2 Żaba, in Polish WWS2 Żaba. Żaba means frog and this glider was an elementary training single seat glider so it was used in the mountains to train pilots uh, in the very beginning of their career and the flights the glider made were more like slides or jumps down the hill. Maybe this prompted uh, the engineers to call their glider frog. Żaba was constructed by engineer Wacław Czerwiński, who, apart from being a great glider designer, also discovered Polish crucial gliding sites in the mountains in Bezmiechowa and Ustianowa. Żaba was first flown over Rakowice airfield, or, or maybe we should call it an airport, uh, in Kraków in 1937 and brought to production in Wojskowe Warsztaty Szybowcowe, this means military glider works, which were also located in Kraków in Rakowice uh, airfield. This was a factory or a facility which produced about 80 gliders a year, so this was pretty mass production for those days, uh, nearly two gliders were shipped a week. Uh, and this yearly number uh, of 80 craft uh, of the Jabba type were constructed in uh, WWS works. Uh, later there were minor changes, namely wing tips were smoothed and 10 kilograms were taken off the weight of the glider, which in total weighed 85 kilograms, so this is a pretty much uh, of a decrease. Uh, and uh, in this way a glider, a new version was created, it was designated uh, either WWS2 BIS Jabba or uh, WWS2 Jabba 2. Anyway, the second version uh, was uh, built in uh, LWL factory in Lviv, uh, which was then uh, a Polish city, uh, and 70 craft were made there. Out of this uh, whole production uh, part, 20 Jabba gliders were sold abroad. The very successful and pilot-friendly Jabba glider was used in gliding schools throughout Poland, uh, for example in Państwowa Szkoła Szybowcowa, the State Gliding School in Ustianowa, in the Gliding School in Pinczów, uh, in Tengoboże, as well as in uh, Wołyńska Szkoła Szybowcowa, this means uh, Wołynia Region Gliding School in Sokola Góra, here you can see the glider uh, which is about to be flown by uh, Mrs. Jadwiga Piłsudska, who was a daughter of uh, Marshal of Poland Józef Piłsudski. Uh, Jadwiga Piłsudska later became a, a professional aviator. Uh, she served in the uh, Air Service Auxiliary in the RAF uh, and uh, ended up piloting uh, airplanes like the Spitfire and Mustang. Żaba was also used in Lviv. Uh, where uh, first training uh, sessions with the use of radio communications were um, performed. Uh, today uh, Sokola Gura and uh, Lviv are in the Ukraine, uh, but before the Second World War these were Polish uh, cities. All in all, about 150 Jabba gliders were made. Uh, most of them were either crashed or destroyed during the war. Uh, two were taken over by the Soviets. But there is a very interesting story of one uh, Jabba glider, uh, registration number Sierra Papa 1265, which was disassembled before the war and hidden in a shed belonging to McAllen Oil Refinery in Krosno, uh, where it was not found or not used by the occupants. It's pretty strange because a facility of such strategic importance as an oil refinery must have been thoroughly searched by the army but the glider was either not found or found uh, of no importance and left where it was hidden. Uh, the second version seems a bit more true because uh, apart from Jabba there were at least two other gliders also hidden in uh, Magellan uh, oil refinery magazines. Uh, this glider was uh, flown, uh, was assembled during the war and flown in Białobrzegi near Krosno in 1944, but then it was disassembled again as the front uh, approached and was hidden in the garage of postal service in Rzeszów. 
when we're talking about the war, it's also worth mentioning that engineer Czerwinski uh, emigrated to Canada, where he worked for the Havilland uh, aircraft, a Canadian uh, wooden aircraft company. Uh, and there, um, as he knew the construction of his uh, glider by heart, uh, he recreated the plans of Jabba glider and two gliders uh, of this type were made in Canada in uh, 1942 or 43 and they were uh, given the name CWA Wren. Wren is a bird which has a very difficult Polish name Strzyzyk. As already mentioned WWS Żaba was an elementary training single seat glider which was used for soaring down the hill uh, with pilots uh, in no cockpit exposed to all the elements. This was the theory, the method of training. The pilot had to feel uh, the space, had to feel the wind, had to feel all the elements uh, and therefore be verified uh, for, the, uh, for the job of, of an aviator. Uh, to perform such uh, training sessions the glider didn't require any great uh, flight characteristics. Here you can see uh, the basic data of a Jabba glider. The glider was all wooden, uh, the bottom part of the fuselage, the one below the seat, was like a box. Um, um, it was made of two compartments uh, to make it easy to repair this, this part because it was very prone to breaking and getting damaged while uh, pilots tried uh, their first landings in the, in the mountainous uh, areas. Uh, the glider was pretty robust, there were two struts per each uh, wing, uh, even the horizontal stabilizer had uh, separate struts, there were many guy wires to make the uh, construction more rigid, uh, which uh, while uh, flying acted like the strings. There are many Polish songs uh, about uh, flying, uh, about airplanes, uh, where the text, the, the lyrics refer to uh, the guy wires uh, whistling or singing uh, for the pilot. Uh, this was the sound uh, as the glider was slicing uh, through the air. Uh, Jabba had no wheel. Uh, after landing it had to be transported uh, back to the top of the mountain where from which it took off using a special transporter dolly or, uh, or a horse which pulled this, uh, this dolly. Uh, it was either horse-drawn or uh, pulled by the pilots uh, themselves. So here uh, I think they were grateful to designers for taking those uh, above mentioned 10 kilograms of the uh, total weight of the uh, glider. The glider was very simple both to assemble and to uh, fly. Uh, you can see all wire controls going from the uh, flight stick and rudder pedals to the elevator to rudder. Uh, the rudder pedals are even, they are not even pedals, it's just a, a wooden board uh, which, is, uh, which is horizontal and uh, pilot uh, pushed it. There are wires so that his feet wouldn't come off the rudder while landing. This was a common danger that when you took your foot off the landing of the of the rudder while landing, you could um, well slide over it with the landing skid. What is very interesting? Uh, why I said that simple doesn't need to be primitive doesn't mean uh, designers of this glider kept making research which led to safe design of the seat. As you can see, the seat of this glider is not just a straight wooden board, it is profiled, it is built in such a way that it uh, provided some backup uh, for the pilot's spine and during the crash landing, the hard landing uh, or, or a turnover, uh, this uh, seat with proper harness protected pilot's spine from injuries, so very uh, well say modern feature in this simple pre-war glider and another thing you may have noticed already in the pictures is that the skid of the glider was not uh, placed on some uh, rubber balls or, or, or leather straps but it actually had an oil gas shock absorber uh, which is a very unique feature and uh, very uh, cutting edge uh, as you take a look uh, for example at pre-war motorcycles then there was um, this uh, double rectangle uh, type front fork with, uh, with spring. Uh, gas shock absorbers were not something in very common use before the Second World War and here it was uh, fitted to a very simple glider. 
The glider which was hidden in Krosno and Rzeszów made it until the end of the war. It was then registered by the numbers Sierra Papa 167 and flown in Poland until the 1950s where uh, generally the aero clubs resigned from the single seat uh, training method and moved on to uh, double seated gliders where pilot was uh, student pilot was flying along with instructor. Now uh, this Żaba glider uh, is to be seen in uh, Polish Aviation Museum in Kraków uh, so it uh, ended on the same airfield uh, where it was first flown and where it was made and it is now the lone survivor of the WWS2 Żaba glider type. This would be it about uh, this nice uh, robust uh, single-seater Thanks for watching Vintage Sky, stay tuned!